Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about Dr. Barbara Sturm, or rather how to get a good deal on Dr. Barbara Sturm. So I have done a couple of videos in the past showcasing and highlighting some of her serums, and one of the comments that I get quite often is that people are really interested in her products. They really want to check them out, try them out, play with them themselves, but they can't really fit them into their skincare budget because they are really expensive products. In this video, I just want to share with you guys my best tips and tricks on how to get her products at the best deal. There are a couple of obvious ones I'm going to get out of the way at the beginning so I can share with you my number one tip, which is how to get them about half Price. The obvious ones are things like getting them in a promotional offer. Many stores, including online retailers, have 20% off offers. These same retailers sometimes also have gift with purchases. At the time of filming this right now, an online retailer called Cult Beauty has a special offer for Dr. Barbara Sturm, where you get 20% off skincare site-wide, but in addition to this offer, you also get a free full-size product, which in this case is a full-size pack of her masks. I think they're worth around 120 24 euro. Although combining these two offers together gets you a pretty good deal, I have an even better deal. The title and the thumbnail of this video is not clickbait. You really can get their products for around half price. And the key to doing this is buying them in a beauty kit, such as this one, which I have to share with you here today. This is the Netta Porte Doctor's Beauty Kit. Netta Porte is not the only brand that does these curated kits, but they are the ones where I think you get the best offers. Total cost of this product is around 125 euros, but the cost of the entire kit is only 70 euros. This means you're getting the serum at almost half price, and then you get five other either full size or deluxe sample size products completely free. If you had your eye on a Dr. Barbara Sturm product and it's not in this kit, just keep your eye on the website because they do do these offers quite frequently. They have them coming in and out all the time, so hopefully you can snag your favorite product or serum that way. This particular kit is probably the least exciting of all the ones that they've launched for me and my skin type. Let's not judge a book by its cover. Let's open it up and take a look. This could be the best kit ever. First, let's start with star of the show, of course, the Glow Drops. Now, what sets this apart from her other serums is that it's a nice lightweight serum that's moisturizing, but it also has tin and iron oxide and titanium dioxide these minerals have a slightly glowing effect when applied to the skin, which gives your skin a very subtle but natural glow. Looking at the rest of the ingredients list, it looks pretty good. There's lots of humectants and emollients. This will have a really lightweight, nice texture that will dry down well for all skin types. The only thing I don't like in this is that it does contain alcohol. It's not terrible but it's really drying and i have dry skin so i do try to avoid it i have used this one before and i do like it it has a really nice lightweight texture it's really beautiful i would recommend it for all skin types if you've been wanting to try out her products this is a great way to check them out and see if you like them at a really good discount but in addition to the discount you also get all these other products for free so let's take a quick look at those as well let's start with this is the one that i have used before so i'll start with this one this is the MZ Skin Hydra Bright Gold Eye Mask. So there's actually five masks in here. They could definitely have skimped out and given you like one single mask. So I'm really glad that they actually give you the whole box. When I look at the ingredients, it looks pretty good. I think there are a couple of things I'd rather not see. So niacinamide is a great active skincare ingredient, especially if you have a more combo oily skin. But for someone with dry skin like me, it can be a bit irritating and agitating. So it's not my favorite, but it's still a really good skincare ingredient, especially for a more acne prone skin type. In addition to that, it also has a couple of colorants and I think of these as filler ingredients. I would rather not see them in my skincare. So it's not my favorite formula, but I've used this product before and I have liked it. So I definitely will enjoy using it again. Let's take a look next at the Pure Vitamin C Powder Cream from Dr. Sabah. This is a really interesting product. There have been some really interesting technological advancements in vitamin C products within the last few generations of skincare. I've seen this kind of powder product crop up more and more. Always been really curious about it, but really apprehensive. So I'm glad that I finally get to try it out and see what I actually think of it. Looking at the ingredients list, I like this ingredients list. This is fantastic. It's really short. 
it's really to the point that's what I want to see. So we have water, we have the vitamin C, we have a couple of products that are included for like texturizing reasons. Then we have some humectants, some great moisturizers, as well as a couple of preservative ingredients. This looks to be a really good, high quality, pure concentrated product. There's not really any filler or junk in here. That's exactly what I want to see from my skincare. The reason I have a little bit of trepidation is because you're supposed to take this powder and mix it with your moisturizer and then apply the mixture to your face. Vitamin C needs a low pH. If you apply vitamin C products at a more normal balanced pH, they don't really have an effect. They're not available to your skin. So I'm trying to think of which product has a low pH in my vanity that I could mix this into to make sure I'm really getting the full benefit of that vitamin C. I'm definitely curious about it and I definitely want to check it out. The next product in this kit is the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Body Treatment. Now I have sort of mixed feelings about this brand. On one hand, it's a great brand, it works really well, you get immediate results, but it's also quite drying, quite intense, quite stripping. I would definitely be more interested in using one of these really intense, effective, but kind of tough products on my body than on my face. The ingredients, um, uh, oh, this could be the best kit ever. Okay. I knew there was going to be alcohol in this product. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit further down in the list. It's actually the second ingredient. I would never use this on my face. If you look through it, you see there are tons of alpha and beta hydroxy acids. So lots of really good chemical exfoliation, as well as some other really nice cell turnover products like Bacuchiol, which is a natural alternative to a retinoid. I love Bacuchiol. It's one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It's quite strong, but quite gentle. And then paired with all of these really, really intense ingredients. Actually, I think you're probably going to see a really big difference using this product. I might use all eight in one month. It says it's a one month supply and then let you guys know if I noticed a big difference or not. This is the NIC Y Squared Recovery Mask from 111 Skin. I have a very similar impression of this brand as I did with the Dr. Dennis Gross. I like their products. I get really good results from them, but they tend to be a little bit too over formulated. There's a lot of filler ingredients I would rather not see. They have things like perfume and thickening agents. I like them and I get good results, but it's not my favorite brand. However, this is a new product, so I'm really excited about trying it out. Let's take a look what's inside. This contains alcohol and quite high up in the ingredients list. Uh, let's keep reading and see if it redeems itself. Uh, there are a couple of ingredients in here that I don't love. There's alcohol and then there's caffeine, which I find a little bit too aggressive and intense for my dry skin personally. But there's also a lot of really good stuff in here. There's lots of ceramides. There's a lot of really nice ingredients. This one could really be a hit or miss. I'm really curious about trying it now. I'd save this one for last. Either it's gonna be really interesting or really disappointing. This is a brand I've never heard of before called Royal Fern. This is their phytoactive cream. This is a 15 mil deluxe sample size, but their regular full size 50 mil product is 250 euros. I have tried some of these independent brands that have come in with a new product like this and they always end up disappointing me. They're just really mediocre average formulas you could get at a way better price. So let's take a look at the ingredients list and see what's in store for us today. I haven't looked into this brand at all. I've never even heard of this brand. I'm going to hold them to a very high standard because of the price point of this product. Let's see what we have. No! This could be the best kit ever. Alcohol is the sixth ingredient. Let's see if there's anything in the formula that can salvage it from that. Okay. There are some things in here that I do like, but then a couple of other things I don't like. So in addition to having so much alcohol for such an expensive formula, it also has perfume. Not naturally derived perfume, but like fragrance perfume, which is an irritant and something I do prefer to avoid in my skincare if I can. Let's see if it actually helps the product if it smells. No. This smells horrible. It smells like a cleaning product. This could be the best kit ever. I haven't been this disappointed in trying a new product in a really long time. I have no idea what they're doing with this. I am very curious to try it. 
This is the fourth out of six products in the kit that contain alcohol. But let me just explain a little bit about why it's included and who it's for. Because obviously alcohol is fine in skincare. You wouldn't have these really large popular brands including alcohol if it were dangerous or really horrible for your skin. It's also an antibacterial, antimicrobial, but it's predominantly used as a texturizing ingredient, meaning that it affects the texture and the absorption of the product. Skincare with alcohol in it tends to dry down really quickly and absorb into the skin really easily evenly and very well. If you don't have a super dry skin like me, but instead you have a more combo oily skin, you probably aren't as impacted by the drying and you might actually prefer the texture that alcohol provides to skincare. Between the really strong exfoliating products, the neonicetamide and the eye mask, and the really nice lightweight texture of the serum, this whole kit looks like it's really good for someone with a more combo oily, especially acne prone skin type. This could really be a hit for you. It's not my favorite kit. Let's not judge too soon. If you enjoyed this video or you feel like you learned something or you want to hear how I get on with any of these products, please do subscribe and stick around. I would love to see you guys on my follow-up video where I let you guys know how I get on with these products.